Hi guys, I want to run through the um, quiz for you. Let me save it real quick, make sure I have it all good. There we go. Um, so I'll run through and I'll answer, go through the questions and answer choices with you. Um, question number one. According to the reading, what does the scene Mohenjo-Daro mean in Cindy? And your choices are Mound of the Dead, Mound of the Flies, Dead City of Stone, or People of the River. Uh, question two, religion. In what ways did Greece's conquering of Persia in northern India in 326 BCE affect the Indian people? Uh, your choices are the Greco-Buddhist changings, changes of affected art, religion, and clothing. Uh, the Indian people were forced into slavery. Indians were forced to convert to Hellenistic religion or none of the above. Uh, question three, government leadership. What major event led Ashoka the Great to practice Buddhism? His remorse for a massacre of 100,000 people at the city-state Kalinga, his tyrannical father Bensora, the bankruptcy of the Indian government, or the invasion of Alexander the Great? Question four. Which of the following systems developed due to the trade India had with Central Asia and the Near East? Uh, all of the above. Drainage and sewer systems a canal system that irrigated crops of cotton and sugar cane, or a reservoir, the artificial lake for water storage at Gurnar in 3000 BC. Question five, according to the reading, what major change increased ancient India's agricultural expertise? Uh, your choices are the migration of the Aryans into Northern India, a change in India's natural ecosystem, increase in trade with Asia, or all of the above. Question six, what India's caste system had which social class? All of the above, Kshatriya, Shudras, or Brahmins? Uh, question seven, during the Harappan period, which god or gods were worshipped? Indra, the god of storms and war, and Shaki, the mother goddess, mother of earth. Indra, the god of storms and war, they had no gods or Buddha. And then the last one, according to the reading, which religious belief system in ancient India stated that everything is living, feels pain, and has a soul? Jainism, Buddhism, Hinduism, or none of the above?